Okay, welcome to that Cosmic video. It is finally time to start showing you the prototypes we've been working on internally at Cosmic to turn Cosmic into a proactive canvas. So, a few months ago, we published several articles about how we really had kind of a three-step plan with Cosmic. The first one, uh, the first step being creating a multimedia canvas, so supporting video, web pages, PDFs, and basically as much, as many file types as we can on that canvas, then making it multiplayer, step two, and now we're arriving at step three, which is how we could make it proactive. Proactive meaning that it's going to react to some commands you're going to be able to um, ask it to perform, or that even in the future, it could anticipate some of your needs. And we really think that the canvas meshed with an LLM can become something very, very powerful, akin to kind of a browser plus database plus pdf reader plus multiplayer of space we really think that there's going to be a complete rethinking of what it means to create software and what software categories uh, really means in in 2025 and i'm not really sure we're going to be using browser pdf readers and really like vertical software like this uh in in three or even in five or three years from now so let me try to uh, to show to show it to you. So here, for example, I have a bunch of pictures that are lined up in front of me on, of my, on my canvas. So if you're building a mood board in Cosmic and you're importing 20 or more pictures, this is what you're going to see. Uh, and that that's not super, super useful, right? Of course, you can select and use one of our auto layout option or new option that will ship soon is you click on the bolt and we're going to try and categorize those pictures and organize the canvas. So for example, here, Cosmic organized them as landscapes, correct, uh, architecture and landmarks, correct, trains and walls. Um, and so that's how, for example, we think that the canvas can be very useful. Let's say we're not satisfied with those categories. We can click on the agent and be more precise. So what we're trying to avoid with our prototypes is we do not want you to prompt too much. Even if you'll have that opportunity, even if, if it will be possible in Cosmic to type in commands through that agent, uh, to that, you know, to talk with that person, basically, I'm not sure uh, that this is the best way to use an LLM. So for example, here, we are going to show you the prototype of our prompt builder. Click on organize content, click on the active universe, and Cosmic is trying to nudge you towards, you know, being more and more precise so it can perform the best version of that prompt, the organization prompt that I run in a click uh, on the mode selection. I'm going to click on custom organization. I'm going to ask Cosmic to organize them as location or region. It's thinking. Then I'm going to ask for a dynamic grid and I'm going to, for a change, ask it to organize it vertically. And boom, and here we are. Uh, and we can focus, for example, show me Paris. Okay, that's right. Montenegro, that's right too. And categorized landscape, that's honest and probably right too. Trains, not really a region, but fun. So this is how we're trying, you know, to think about how Cosmic could become kind of a database um, that feels much more fluid than it is right now where you have to kind of drag and drop everything and it's very manual. Uh, it's kind of cool to have kind of that control command uh, and you click and the canvas reacts in real time. Uh, so this is one of our prototypes. The other one is more classic, but quite fun. Here I have a video with a sticker, uh, an item that is transcribing the video, doing speech to text. So I can play my video, that, listen to it. Cosmic is doing the transcript. To do a transcript, we just right click, click on generate AI, and we pick one of those elements. So here I have my, uh, I have my transcript. And what's really fun is that the model recognized that this is Steve Jobs uh, speaking to a journalist, and that's actually correct. We can do much more than this. We can, for example, click on that PDF, click on summarize, quite nice. And Cosmic is going to generate a summary. One thing that I don't like with LMs right now is that the conversation feels very bulky after a while, and you always have to kind of start again, create a new conversation. Let's say, for example, okay, you've explained, you've summarized that PDF for me. That's quite interesting. What if you could just take that one, drag it in, and now I have two sources. And if I rerun that command with that button, it's going to show me the summary of those two PDFs. So we're thinking about how you could kind of play with those stickers. I can also select both of them and ask Cosmic to generate a comparison of those two files. And it's going to run that. It's going to show me uh, the comparison of those two stickers. 
Okay, comparison of John Atari envisioning the desktop metaphor to support activities in knowledge work and hierarchical file system as R dead. Very cool. I can also read a PDF, extract something from that PDF with our capture mode, very classical, that is already in the product. And now I have that snippet that if I click on, can reopen the PDF at the correct page, but also I can right click and ask Cosmic to show me a recommended search uh, on Google for that content. There is a bug with the placeholder, but hopefully this will work. Yes, it worked. So here are a few recommended search that I could click on. So for example, I want to learn more about Jonata desktop environment. That's right. Okay. Jonata activity based. Okay, that's the PDF. What can I learn? That's another article from the researcher. Nice. So I could also highlight some text, capture it on the canvas, and then I can ask Cosmic to give me other search to tell me more about those people. And in the future, what we want to be able to do is you click on one of those guys, uh, one of those persons, and we give you directly like five articles, five PDFs on the canvas. That is the vision. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to work. It should work. Doesn't seem like it's working. Uh, hopefully it could work in the future. But it's really fun because you can do that, for example, on the video. You can ask for a recommended search on that video. And so the, the canvas is really, really that kind of place where instead of having a very linear conversation with the agent and you kind of have to rerun and restart and go back and start a new one, you just add those small snippets. You can add things, you can drag and drop them inside and it's going to work. So here it looks like it's having some troubles, but I wanted to show you uh, those first few stickers that we're going to release. Oh, it worked. And so I really think it's going to be, uh, to be really fun. So for example, click on that, click on this, for example. Um, and so yeah, Cosmic is going to help me. I think this is going to, it could change the way we think about the research process where right now you start with 100 tabs and you try to go from wide to narrow. Uh, and in Cosmic, you start with one element, that's video, for example, and you go from narrow to wide and you end up with those artifacts that you, that you care about. Um, so this was a very rough, very, not that quick, but actually um, still small uh, snippets about what we're working on at Cosmic internally on how to turn the canvas into a proactive workspace for you. Let us know in the comments what you think. Um, we hope to ship at least the first batch of AI stickers in the Cosmic production version, probably in mid-March. So not far from now, we are, I'm recording this on February 21st. So two to three weeks from now, you should already see some of those improvements uh, in the product. We are very, very excited about the future. Uh, let us know what you think and see you very soon. Bye.